Oh, hi. Sorry, I'm a bit ill today. Hopefully all of this is going to make me feel better. And while we're at it, I thought I'd tell you about some bizarre natural remedies that we still use here in Russia. Um, on a side note, I'd like to say that of course Russians enjoy free health care and are aware of modern day medicine. It's just that somehow these natural remedy recipes that our grandparents introduced us to still work. Inhalers during a cold are old news, but we in Russia do it our way. We don't breathe over fancy eucalyptus oil, we breathe over boiled potatoes. So I'll go make some in the kitchen. It looks silly, but in most cases it's effective and it's cheap. Another great way to ease a blocked nose is to make a warm compress. And this is exotic. You can make this at home out of salt and a clean sock. Just make sure that the salt is warm and that the sock is clean. Um, microwaving the salt isn't good enough. You have to fry it in a frying pan. That way it will later on evenly release uh, the warmth allowing you to breathe freely. Oh, it feels nice. Anyway, let's move on to my personal favorite. The black radish. I found out about this one when I was pregnant. Pregnant people are told to stay away from medicine and uh, I was unfortunate enough to catch a cold. So when that happened, my aunt made me this. You have to cut out uh, the center of the radish, make it hollow, then add a drop of honey, and then let it sit until it bleeds enough juice. That juice mixed in with honey is said to be a natural remedy from cold. I don't know if it really works or if it's a coincidence, but I later um, tried it on my kid when she was ill and she got well really quickly. Another weird and wonderful idea for a child is a garlic pendant. Garlic has been praised by many cultures as a natural antibiotic, but we Russians took the stinky herb to a whole new level, turning it into a pendant made out of a chocolate egg. Drinking lots of fluids is the most Russian thing you can do. It's like the first thing you'd hear um, from anyone who you'd tell that you're feeling ill. They'd be like, oh, drink lots of fluids. Um, we're northerners, so we get our vitamin C from berries, uh, raspberries, black currant, we've got some buckthorn here. We use um, fresh berries, we use jam in our tea. Um, we sometimes use dry berries or frozen ones, depending on the season. The Russian banya is a great preventive method for any kind of illness. At about 90 degrees centigrade, it kills off almost all of the bad stuff. But if you're already ill, uh, and I'm still ill, unfortunately. Going to the banya is a really bad idea because it's not only dangerous for your health, it may also compromise others. Please share your natural remedy recipes with me in comments below and don't forget to wear your woolies.